and I'm here again everybody Mr. Klisha always coming to you with a second tutorial about star delta starting now the first one was about star delta starting for a motor with three leads and it had a transformer inside the circuit to get rid of the inverse current now this one is the manual star delta for a motor with six leads the actual real star delta system no transformer just the three contactors, the auxiliaries, the timer that's all um, and it's for six leads, I have my six leads here, I just, I just did this so you guys see the power circuit these are my six leads coming, going down to the motor um, I'm gonna I'm start it first so you see I use this diagram here, I use this diagram to fully, to, to use to to run my wires, that's the power side of it right there and this is the control side of it so I didn't I didn't do this off my head, which I could do it off my head, but for a proper tutorial, I decided to use that diagram. Um, I'm gonna start it right now, so you see how it works. I use these lights, these lights for indication. So one light is for the star, one is for delta, and the other one is for main. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you see how the star delta works first. I'm gonna flip it right now. All right. There's two lights on. All right. I hope you guys saw the change. Um, don't mind it. They're, they're not bright enough because it's 220 bulbs on a 110, 110 voltage, so they're not bright enough. But as you see, the main light is still on. That means the main contact is, is still in, and the delta is in now. The star was in at first, but it cut out. The timer cut it out to transfer to the, to the delta side of the motor. All right. They're off. Now... I did these as a power side of it. These three leads are gonna come from my main disconnect at first. They're gonna come down to the first contactor here, and I'm gonna loop it, come over to the delta contactor. This is my main contactor here, and my delta contactor right here. So these are my power side leads here, from the main to the delta, and from the bottom of the delta side, it goes to the motor for delta ring. And this other set goes to the star, the star contactor and it loops up to the top. That's exactly what happens here. For my first disconnect up here, it goes down the first contactor, contactor, it loops over. Then from the bottom, it goes to the star and it loops off the top. The main goes straight down to the motor and the delta contactor goes straight down to the motor. And that's, that's the power side of it. Keep that in mind. Do not cross phase. You'll have problems. Now for the control circuit. I came from my switch, I have my source here, my neutral and my live. From straight, from straight to my switch. Now there's two wires coming out, coming out of my switch. One goes straight to the timer here, on the one-tenth side of the timer. And the other one, it goes to my overload first. It goes to my overload, or normally close overload. Keep that in mind, auxiliary. Keep it in mind. Comes out of the overload. The auxiliary, the normally close auxiliary on the overload. And it goes to the, eight, it goes to the coil of, of the main contactor goes to the coil of the main contactor now that's how you keep main contactor slammed in now you want to be able to keep the star contactor slammed in as well as the main so when the main slams the star, the star, the star contactor slams as well now how you get how you do it using a switch using a switch mind I'm not using push buttons I'm using a switch so I took a wire from my main, co from my main contactor coil comes up to the normally closed section of the timer Keep that in mind from the coil of main, the main contactor, to the normally closed section of the timer, and it comes out. Comes out of there, and I put it to a normally closed auxiliary on the delta coil, and from there, I went straight to my, my star coil. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. After the normally closed part of the timer, you go to a normally closed auxiliary on the delta contactor, and from there, you go to your coil. The reason, the reason for that is, when this when this coil slams in, it breaks the connection here. So there's no, so this is used as a little protective part of the circuit. So there's no way that star can get power again. Keep that in mind. Now that's now that with, with that said, that's how you keep star and your main slamming together. That's what I did. But that's what that's what the control circuit on this diagram told me. And I think that's how they do it in many other diagrams that, I, that I've looked at. Now, we, now you want to be able to use the timer to cut star and bring in delta. 
Now what you do is you just wire your delta contactor coil from the normally open, normally open side of the of the of the timer. And what I did, I came from there and I went to a, a normally closed auxiliary on the star contactor. You see what I did? I went to a normally closed auxiliary on the star contactor and from there I came out to my to my delta contactor coil. The reason for that is when the star when star slams in, the normally closed contact here, auxiliary here becomes normally open, so delta will not get any power at all. So delta cannot so 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 delta cannot be energized. That delta will not be energized until star slams out. Keep that in mind. Until star slams out, delta will not be energized. Along with the timer, when the timer sends signal, it, should, it will cut off your normally closed part here, and it would it would open your normally closed part and close the normally open, so you can send power. You can cut power from star and bring power to delta. That's after like 10 seconds. I think I did it for like eight eight seconds here. That was my time today, but it was just to show you how it how it really works. And uh, that's that's all. And that's bas that's basically it. That's all to it right here. That's all to it. From my switch here, I went straight down to my timer. My tim no, sorry, sorry. For this diagram, I didn't use I didn't use a timer like this. It's, it's a, a brand new timer, a more recent timer. Um, I went straight down to my end to my end to my main coil right here. That's what I did. I went straight down to my main coil. From my main coil, I went to the normally closed part of my timer, which is here. And I came down to a normally closed auxiliary on my delta. On my delta here, KD KD1, that's delta. And I went right here. And then I came down to my star coil. So my main and my star. Main, my star. Keep that in mind. From my star, I went. Well, for in this in, in this in, in this diagram, they did it backwards. I did it more forward. I I went from my main, come to a normally closed part of the timer, a normally closed auxiliary contact. Then I went to my star. Then from there, you have to wire your delta side, a normally open. Keep that in mind. Normally open auxiliary on the timer to a normally closed auxiliary on star on the on the star contactor to your delta coil. That's basically it. Keep that in mind. These two are just lights on the box. I just did this on this board so you guys see the basic view, the basic objective here, how you get them to slam, how you how you control them. Keep it in mind. Remember, six leads. So initially, star and delta is gonna slam first to give to give the motor at least a quarter of the current. It, a quarter of the current is in, it's initially supposed to run with. And after about eight seconds, ten seconds on my on my on my board here, you will cut out this, and you're gonna slam delta, and you're gonna keep in your main right there. Your main cannot slam out at all. So it's a simple setup. Let me do it one more time, just so you see how it goes. Look at the lights for me, please. You're gonna see main and the star slam. Turn on. All right. That's your main. That's your star. All right. Main stayed in. And your delta is in now, and your star is off. That's basically how the star delta works. Keep it in mind. For any questions, look at um, comment on my page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. For for other diagrams, for stop buttons, they did it differently, but this is for a switch. Which for stop buttons, you're gonna need holding. You're gonna need a holding circuit. You're gonna need more auxiliaries for different stuff. So for any questions, comment on my page. Send me a message, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And that's the basic star delta setup right there. That's the basic star delta for a motor with six leads. Keep it in mind. I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna start it again. That's main. That's my star. Wait. And bam. And my delta and main are in right now. And the motor is okay. And just so you see, let me let me just press press test on the, on the overload here. All right. So both contactors are in. My hand is pressed on the on the test button on the overload, so that means I just broke the connection. Hey, I just broke you the connection for the voltage to go. Because look again, I'm going to release, and they're in. Light up, and it's light up. Press test again. Tuesday, you did not charge them. Both contactors are out. You, you I broke the contactor. That's it. Anyway, Bam! That's it. And I'm good. Don't mind my contactors, my, 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 my co-workers, sorry, just listen to me. 
and that's it for it, that's it. Right there. That's test. I broke the connection straight up from my switch to go to my overload first. And they're on. And that's what happens when your moto runs on overload. It's gonna trip, it's gonna break the connection through the normally closed overload auxiliary. Keep that in mind. That's how that's what it is. So your overload has to be somewhere close. Somewhere close from your step down voltage, whatever it is for your coil. It has to be somewhere close. Or it has to be the first thing inside your circuit. Keep that in mind. It has to be in your control circuit in order for your motor to, to sense an overload. Bam, and that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, Star Delta, six model leads. My other one was for three, and a transformer with it. This is for six. And I hope you guys learned something. Take care. Send me a message. God bless you guys.